welcome to Hardly Farm. <laughs> this used to be a tobacco field. So we have come from tobacco to alpaca. As the tobacco phased out, Daddy um, bought more and more land and got into tree farming. And then my daughter and son-in-law built a house on this property and then we fenced in the rest for our alpaca farm. Is that good stuff? We're called Hardly Farm because Daddy used to say I looked like I was hardly farming. And so um, I took the fence to that, but in his honor, we are called Hardly Farm and we're called Alpacas in the Pines because if you look around, there's pine trees all around and there's a whole loblolly pine farm down the, the path here. We hope to have an agritourism piece. We're excited to have some girls that have been award winners and we're going to be showing them in shows and for their fiber and, not, and for their halter abilities. We have seven right now, two we hope are pregnant, and we just had a baby born in May and her name's Black Pearl, named after my granddaughter Emmeline Pearl. We're going to have a grand opening in September. We're real excited. I've been learning how to make things out of alpaca fiber. We are going to have a farm store with alpaca products and items in it. Um, we're making things out of tobacco sticks, so we're incorporating our heritage there. We just want to keep our family farm going. Um, we thought this was a good way to do it. It's been a learning experience for sure, um, but we're having fun at it. Thank God for my son-in-law who's able to do a lot of the interior work and my daughter has a degree in animal science and I have the ability to talk somewhat and so I feel like we are a trifecta of, um, you know, the three of us come together, bring our own skill sets to the table. Does that feel good, girl? It is important that we hold on to what my daddy and my mom worked so hard to, to gain and just keeping everything going and operational and so that's what we're doing. Now whether daddy would think this was a good idea or not, I'm not sure, but here we are. We're here to stay.